Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great day. I thought today I would spend a little bit of time doing some tips and tricks. And this one here is specifically for creating backgrounds in code.org. So the first one we're going to do is what I would call a simple background. This one will not be a sprite, um, but we're going to do a background. So to begin with, uh, depending on what level you are in code.org, you're not going to have all the tools that you see over here. I'm in um, just a code um, where you can play section. So I have all the code available to me. When you first start in code.org, you have a limited number. And that's what we're going to do is the first way to make a background. Okay. And that's just using these drawing tools. So here we go. Let's get started. Easy enough. There's one called background. And I'm just going to do sky blue. We have a sky blue background. And to test that, I hit run, turns blue. Perfect. Now, might be good enough, but we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put some grass down here at the bottom. So, I need to grab a fill. Remember, this is like writing on a whiteboard or painting. I've got to get my color first. So if I'm going to draw on the whiteboard, I got to get my marker that I want to use. So that's my fill color. And I'm going to draw grass, so I'm going to do green. <laughs> if I can spell green, there we go. Now, I can hit reset run. Nothing happens because I have not drawn anything yet. I've just picked up that marker. So now to draw, we're going to draw just a rectangle. Okay. And if I look down there, X, Y. So my X, I want it to start at zero. So I'm going to put zero. And my Y, I want it to be, oh, let's go with like 350 or so. I want my next is my width. How wide do I want it? Well, I want it to go all the way across the screen. So I'm going to go to 400. And my height, how I want it to go about 50. Let's see what this looks like. So there we go. It started at zero. Okay. And it's down towards the end of the screen, which is at that 350. And it goes across, so my width is 400, goes from 0 to 400. And my Y, that 50, it's 50 um, pixels tall, or units tall, okay? And I can check that with my grid, and I can see there's my 50. Okay, if I were to change this, let's make this like 10. And you'll see what that does. See how it makes it very thin? So I went all the way from where I started at 350 down. So we got that solid. Okay, now, next thing I want to do is I want a nice little happy cloud up there in the sky. Okay, so I need to grab that marker to make that cloud. So I'm going to grab my fill color. I could do gray or something, but I'm just going to do white. And then I'm going to go grab my ellipse, okay? Now, if I hit reset run, I throw that on there. Whoo, great big round cloud. Well, I don't necessarily want it to be right down here at the bottom of the screen. I want it to be up here somewhere. So I'm going to start at zero again with my X. So we got zero, so it's all the way over here. And for my Y... If you look, I've got my X and Y down here. I can kind of put my cursor here and we're gonna go about 50 again. So I'm just gonna put 50. Now, this is where we do our height and width again. So I want, you can see that height, how tall it is. I'm sorry, let me back up. I got those, we want our width and height. So our width, how wide it is, and height, width, and height. There we go. So I'm going to make this little cloud 150 long. 
and we'll make it a hundred wide. So it's going to be a little longer than it is wide. Not bad. Okay. If I want to bring it on the screen where I can see it all the way, I'm going to take this to 100. That way we can just look at it. So that was my X position. There it is. That's yeah, not bad. Maybe I want to go a little bit longer. So I might go to 200 just to thin him out a little bit. Maybe he looks too much like a storm cloud. There we go. I like that. Now, do you see how there's a black line on here? If I don't like that black line, I can change that with no, with the, you see where there's stroke, but there's a no stroke. So right there with the white. So I got my fill color, I got my marker and I'm saying, don't draw that black line around there. There it is. See how it's all cleaned up. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to take my cloud back to zero. And for some of you, if you're in the earlier levels of code.org, this is as far as you have to go. But after you get past, I believe you're around oh, less than 10 or so, you start doing this draw function. So here we go. I'm going to pull out this function. Okay. It says my function, but I'm going to change that to draw. And now, inside this, we can make motion happen. So here we go. I'm going to create a variable. And this variable's got to be outside of the draw loop, okay? So we got this variable, and I'm going to call it x move. Oops, you know what? We're going to do camel case. x move. X movement. There we go. And I'm going to copy this so I spell it the same every time. Okay. Just a little trick I like to use is copy and paste. So I've got this X movement and I'm going to just put equals one right now. Okay. And you'll see why that matters right now. Now you see my ellipse. I'm going to take my ellipse and I'm going to put him in the draw loop. So we've got this function. I put my ellipse down in there and my X position. I'm going to just put that X movement in there. Oops, I left the zero in there. There we go. Can't have our variable starting with a zero. Okay. So that's why I started with an X and it's describing what's happening. This is our X movement. So I've got X movement in there. Now, if I hit reset run, Nothing happens, but here's where the magic comes. Okay. Do you see this where it says assign a variable? It's got X equals. I'm going to drag that into our draw loop and I'm going to take my X movement and it says X movement equals X movement. And I'm just going to type in here space plus space one and I'm going to hit reset. Now what this does is my X position right now is a one. Do you see that? It's a one, but now I'm going to take my X position, which is one and I'm going to add it plus one. So now we've got movement, which is one plus one. So now my X position is going to be two, but watch what happens now when I hit run. Our cloud starts to move across the screen. Now, do you see how it's kind of streaking and we're not really seeing the cloud. It's getting really long. I might like that effect in certain occasions. That's kind of cool, but I want to show you how to fix that. I need my draw sprite or my draw. I need my draw background to come down in the loop also. So what happens is when this, we start up the top. So all this is going to get drawn. Okay. My green grass, and then it's going to set my exposition of my ellipse. And then it's going to draw my background and it'll draw the cloud. 
Then all it does is draw what's in here. My background, my cloud. My background, my cloud. Watch. There it goes. And you see how this time I've got my perfect little cloud moving across. Ah, oh, but some of you are saying, hey, what happened to my grass? Oops. Well, now my background is covering my grass. So to fix that, we're just going to start putting all our nice little pieces of code down here where they belong. Remember, keep these with what they belong with. So my fill of green goes with my rectangle. My fill white goes with my ellipse. But we keep our variable outside that draw loop. And there it goes. I've got my grass, my background, and my cloud. Simple, right? Next trick I'm going to show you is a sprite background. So I just deleted everything, okay? And we're gonna start with a sprite. So we gotta start with this var. We gotta create it just like a variable. And we're gonna put that sprite up here and we need to get a sprite animation. Now, I don't like leaving these named sprites because they need to really tell us what it is. So this is our back background, right? And just like before, I like to copy and paste. So here's our background, and it's going to be made right in the middle of the screen. And our background is going to have an animation. Now, right now, I go into my animation. There's nothing there. So we're going to add. And do you see how code.org has these backgrounds already? I'm going to jump in there. Let's see what they have. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. I'm going to come back up here, and I kind of like... This, yeah, let's do this. Ooh, I like this one. So I just click the, click it, hit done. Boom, there it is. Nice, beautiful planet. I like it. It's nice and simple. Okay, I'm going to come back here. Now, I'm going to go to my animation, and i got background landscape one. And I can see that's its name right here. So I hit run, nothing happens. The reason for that is I gotta draw my sprites. When I create a sprite, we have to draw to the screen. Reset, run, there it is. Nice, simple. Look how beautiful it looks. Perfect. Now, sprites have a pretty cool thing. I could put functions in here um, and make some stuff happen. But I'm going to go back into my animation real quick. I'm going to hit reset. Go to my animation. Now in here, I've got this little slider here. It's got a turtle and a hare or a rabbit. And this will make my background change if there was something going on. Right now I can see there's only one scene. But if I click add a frame, I could add another background. Or if I just hover over this, I get this duplicate this frame. You see how I got a one and a two? Now, I'm on number two. You know what? I'm going to go in here and maybe I want <coughs> this star to twinkle. Okay, you see that little star? So I'm going to get a color. Right now I've got black highlighted. I'm going to go to white. right there. I could do my paint bucket, but this is such a small thing. I'm going to kind of just fill that in. I might go with a little bigger. There we go. That one's going to change. Ooh, that might be a little too big. I could erase it right here, or I can just find a better size one. I'm going to leave that one just so. Now, if I look at this, okay, I go back into my code, I hit run, <clears throat> nothing's happening yet. Let's go back into our code, scene one, scene two. 
Let's slow things down. Loop forever. Code run. Now we're going to take our draw sprite or our loop. We're putting our sprite in there. Reset run. Oops. And they're showing up, but they are not moving. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And we should get some movement here. Turn that back on. There they go. Okay, you see how those are moving? Nice, simple animation that we can do quickly and efficiently. All right. Hope everybody learned a little bit here. Hope this helps you. And I'll come back with a couple more tips and tricks in the next video. Happy coding.